Welcome, my beautiful signs and souls of the Zodiac. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your daily oracle messages for October the 19th, 2019. Again, I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and most of all, subscribing. When you do subscribe, be sure you click the like button and the bell button, and you'll get notified immediately when I'm out here live, and these are produced for you to view on YouTube. You'll also get notified immediately when I'm going out live on, <clears throat> on YouTube to give out free messages to those that want to join me in my room of positive energy and chat. Okay, as you know, this is a collective reading. Every card may not resonate with you today, but take what Take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe. If you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, then I invite you to click the little icon in the top right hand corner of my video and you will be directly taken into my website where you can see the services that I offer. All the other information, my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, is posted below this video. Let's see what we have here. You have been given from the Surrender uh, Power Deck. Uh, you have been given surrender to addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So, you know, the divine is looking down on you and the universe saying that you may be uh, holding yourself back with addictive behavior too. Sometimes we repeat things, uh, you know, that we've been doing in the past. We wonder why we never get ahead. We wonder why we, we can't be better than we are. We wonder why things aren't working out in our favor. Well, we need to tweak things. We need to change things up. We need to look at things and, you know, look at things in a, and make a favorable assessment, assessment of what we've been doing with our lives and, and question that. Are we doing this for our greater good? Is this healthy for me? Uh, you know, how is this changing who I am, how I think, how I react? So today's message, my beautiful friends, is take a look at yourself. Take a look in the mirror and say, what can I do to make myself feel better and move forward with it? You have been given from the Ascended Masters yoga. Well, this makes sense. If we're changing up things, if some of us are changing things that we've been doing in the past that aren't working for us, then we realize we need to tap into our inner self. So this is stretching. This is doing things that might be healthier for you. Maybe some of you, your addiction is lack of exercise and you've been become a couch potato like a lot of us do at times. <clears throat> and we realize that maybe we've put on weight or maybe we've become physically inactive and we can't do the things that we used to do because we're not out there continuing to move and be more mobile. So sometimes stretching, practice breath work today by taking full inhalations and exhalations. Teach yoga or invite others to participate in yoga. Maybe some of you are wanting to get involved in this modality. And watch a yoga video or take a yoga class today. So you know what? <clears throat> It's all about the benefits of moving around and taking yourself into the silence. Yoga has to do with a lot of meditation, self-control, breath work, and physical. But you don't have to get in there and think that you have to be a master at yoga. There's chair yoga. There's all kinds. Of, I mean, I have friends that are older and they aren't physically able to do real yoga. Uh, so they do chair yoga and they spend an hour doing the breath work and taking themselves within the silence. So you may also meet wonderful new friends and have fun at a yoga class too. Yoga is an ancient tradition among spiritual practitioners because of these many esoteric and material benefits. Don't delay. Do some yoga today. Beautiful. So you know what? This is making yourself feel better emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically by giving up what we know and surrendering what we know isn't healthy for us and taking on a healthy outlook. How does that not make sense? These cards are amazing. Okay, so <clears throat> your wisdom of the Oracle deck, you have been given a loyal heart card. Now, the loyal heart card means fidelity, loyalty, and devotion to someone else in your life. Okay, evidence of loyalty will appear in your life. Others will prove they are faithful to you today and you will in turn commit fully to them in appreciation. There is a sure and abiding certainty in your heart today. Know that spirit is always loyal to you and you know, no matter the outcome, the outer circumstances in your life, trust and have faith for you are eternally loved, always divinely protected and divinely directed. 
So you know what? Your long-term loyalty to your goals is becoming evident in the world of conditions where your aspirations for success assume form and reality. Success is fi finally taking shape for some of you. If you are loyal to your dreams, faithful to your plans while remaining flexible and devoted to serving others, there, you know, you will be shown proof of your true prosperity. This is amazing. So, you know what? Stay joyful and celebrate with spirit. You're manifesting a partner, some of you maybe. So this is all about, you know, staying loyal to yourself, realizing that your goals and your aspirations and your dreams matter here today. You know, giving up what isn't healthy for us, knowing that we are going to take on a new way of being healthy, a new form of health regime, and staying loyal. Keeping, staying, keeping a loyal heart here and staying loyal to ourselves and those that matter to us. Now, your final outcome, I'm liking this, is find a way to abundance. This is the money card. And, you know, this is about don't worry. You, you will find a solution and to gain the money that you require. Though you may have suffered a misfortune in the past, such as an unemployment or encountered financial difficulties, know that there are always people around to help. There is always a way here. Okay, there's always a way out. Find your internal fortitude and guiding light to persist in gaining back what you have lost. Do the best you can do with what you have, and if you need help, ask for it. Things will get better. So your mantra today is, I have faith that a solution is possible. So if you're having issues here this today with money, know that you know you can be creative here. Stay loyal to yourself. Keep yourself in your circle, in your space of good health, and walk away from anything that's negative or toxic around you. Well, I wish you a beautiful day, remainder to today, October the 19th, and I wish you a beautiful week here to look forward to. And again, I want you to remember the universe and the divine, your higher power, wants you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. See you tomorrow.